How's it going folks? Gast here giving you a um, Bathroom Edition E3 uh, Fire Emblem 16 trailer breakdown. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not using the washroom right now, but this is the best place for lighting. Um, I'm using my camera uh, that I brought with me as well as, which is kind of shaky right now, I put it over a garbage can and I brought a table into the bathroom just so there's the best lighting possible. And uh, this trailer is or this whole direct is pretty long, so I'm hoping there's just timestamps for Fire Emblem, in which case there is, in fact, yes, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Okay, that should be interesting. Um, that sounds very familiar to a to a to a Kaga game. Um, anyway, so it's uh, it looks like it's going to be three minutes long. I'm really looking forward to it. Of course, I'm very pumped to see what's going to go on with this. So without further ado, let's just click in and see what's going on. All right, Three Houses. Let's do it. Long ago, the Divine Seros received a revelation from the Goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. Now, the Goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above, as the mother of all life. The arbiter of every soul. Oh my goodness. Give me orders. It's time to measure your worth as an instructor. What is this? <laughs> Such a brutal, irrational world we Whoa. live. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never! I will return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me. What is this? I don't know what, I literally don't know what I just watched. Um, okay, I have literally nothing to say to that. It looked like... Okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sure I'm reacting just like everybody is right now. Difference being that I'm in a bathroom in a hotel. But what was that? I am very confused. Um, let's watch that again. Did not expect that at all. What the frig? Okay, let's watch this a second time. I need to I need to process this. Okay, so we have we have uh Asrarti. I'm not even gonna try to read that. We found the three kingdoms. Okay, so we deciphered that much. There's three kingdoms of which we found all three of them. So kudos to us. Kudos to me. Awesome sleuth over here. I this is like an EDM track. Like what's it what's even happening here? I'm digging it. It's like some like nice trancy tune. As the mother of all life. Okay, it's not, it's more like a chant of some kind. What's happening right now? Okay, so this sword guy. How about some top tier critical analysis, eh? This sword guy, these kingdoms, this EDM almost music. I think I need to like close caption this. What are you saying? Okay, uh, let's go back. Uh, this is gonna make a lot more sense to me. Okay, so. 
what's happening. Music. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A okay. gift to help guide the lost. Okay. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above. Okay, so the goddess who gave her, I guess, rationality is looking above. Of all life. So she's, she's like Mila Redux. The Arbiter. The Arbiter every of every soul. Okay, so immediately everyone's thinking Radiant Dawn vibes right now. Which is cool because... Okay, it's kind of cool. So let's see what we got here. This I'm I'm actually reminded very much of Vesperia Saga right now, just by like the animation or the portraits. Um, it looks like it's squadron based and there's AOE involved. So this is Edelgard. Uh, this looks very much like I, I, I get like I get Kaga vibes from this. I don't know if you guys are thinking this, but I'm getting Kaga vibes from this. Go ahead. Give me order. So attack magic combat arts. Formation, uh, equipment, items, and weight. So she's gonna choose attack. She has axes and swords. She's an aristocrat. Okay, Edelgard. So it looks like there's a tactician in the game. Um, uh, so that sound is the only thing I can recognize. Is the sound? Uh, Mercedes might be the enemy or the army. Um, Okay, so what I presume is that formation has to do with the squadron that you're leading. So I'm getting also kind of advanced warps vibes here. Uh, Dimitri, Kingdom Soldier, Iron Lance. And this is Claude, who has an Iron Bow. So, like, the formula looks... It, it, it's, it's, like, very... I'm getting a massive, like, Path of Radiance vibes right now. But also squadron-based, which is interesting. Because it, it really... See, that's an interesting thing with Fire Emblem, is that... Um, I think FE4 and 5, if we thought of the soldiers and we thought of the war as this much larger scale thing, um, and each soldier in FE4 had a little squadron, like Sigurd had a little squadron of cavaliers, it would make the world seem a lot bigger and the war seem a lot bigger. And that's actually something that me and a friend of mine talked about. Like, if they... Uh, if we consider the the scope and of FE4 as 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 a giant war, which we should, that takes many days, and we should and maybe consider each unit as its own army in itself. So the army doesn't seem so small; it seems much bigger and stuff like that. Getting similar vibes to this right now. So that's that's actually a pretty interesting a pretty interesting way to look at it, I'd say. Okay, these crests are necessary to maintain order. Okay. But they're wrong, teacher. Okay, so let's go back to this. So, uh, what can we observe here? So, uh, squadron based. It looks like this is a different view of the map, like a different view of like what's happening here. Um, it kind of looks like that, or maybe it's not, and this is just a different way of looking at the map. So, you see, Power. Our you're like you can target different areas so what is she doing she's i am by billeth and i'm fighting this girl and we're attacking hilda now no maybe hilda's maybe billeth's our friend or maybe or maybe billeth is like the leader of the or maybe it's a different thing altogether what is happening right now what is it what did she just say here a brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of a goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are necessary to maintain order. Some believe the crests, tokens of a goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. Okay, so now we're getting into like the the open world aspect of it, and Bileth might be the main character. Bileth. But they're wrong. Too. Maybe it's maybe his name is Bileth.
He looks kind of cool. He looks very Japanese hero, I guess. Like, this is our main dude, I guess. Ah, it must be time for my training. Swords or axes? I must hone my skill for the mock battle. What should I focus on? My axe skills, as you wish. By the way, there's something I'd like to ask you. So, the triangle formation, okay? <laughs> That's a triangle, boys, in case you don't know your shapes. This guy is the, uh, is the, is the Camus of the, I'm just kidding. So now they're approaching in a triangle? Or maybe that's kind of a, I think there's squadron based attacks it looks like. Do you dare to walk this path with me? One misstep and we fall to our ruin. Look at that guy's face. Do you dare to walk this path with me? One misstep and we fall to our ruin. Hold on, I just want to stop on that. That guy looks cool. This guy has got like an abyssal whip type thing. One misstep and we fall. Um, that guy looks ugly. <laughs> so take your first step. It's now or never. I literally have no idea. I will return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me. That is so out there. Is Kaga, like, secretly planning this? Spring 2019. That's, like, next year. It's, like, literally next year and, like, less than next year, I guess. So, like... What was... Okay, so I don't... I really... That's all I could... That's all I could try to observe off, like, the first view of it. That was out of control... Okay, no, it wasn't. It was, it was, I don't even know what to expect. I'm not, I don't know what to expect. That was very strange to, to look at. Um, I don't know how people are going to take this. I think, I mean, obviously keep an open mind about it. It is Fire Emblem. It has, you know, surpassed expectations before. Um, I'm definitely having high expectations for the game. Looks like a lot of effort's been put into it, and it's going to be a much different experience than ever before. Um, and we're just going to have to see what that actually looks like it it's an incredibly new take on the franchise and one which i think people aren't going people are going to be people are going to need to be convinced about this um and it looks like it's a lo much it looks like they're taking fire emblem in a in a, in a much grander step not a, di a different step but i think they're it's a very it looks like a very ambitious title and i suppose we'll just have to wait and see on um more news about it. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next video.